G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography. In this video, I want to run through an easy way to get your long exposure, exposure times with your filters on. I mean, it's, it's all good and well to use an app and the app's great, but we need a base exposure with our filters off. But what if we need to adjust our exposure on the run? We really don't want to be taking all of those filters off risking scratching them in the sand or dropping them or getting them dirty much easier to leave them on and use this particular formula this really easy system that i'm about to show you here let's take a look and you can see here i have my nissi V5 Pro holder on. I've also stacked up the 6 and 10 stop plus the polarizer, which will give us a whole bunch of stops, somewhere around about 16 to 18 stops of neutral density there. Now let's check out this simple technique to get the perfect exposure time. First thing we do, crank the ISO right up to 6400. And the way this works is a maths ratio. Now I'm no, not particularly great with maths myself, but the way this works basically relates to there is 60 seconds in a minute and roughly, I do say roughly, roughly 60 ISO 100s in ISO 6400. Of course it's 64. But it's close enough to get a very accurate reading on our exposure time. So 60 seconds in a minute, 64 ISO 100s in ISO 6400 means that whatever seconds equal a perfect exposure at ISO 6400 will equal minutes at ISO 100. So don't worry about the mathematics about it. All it comes down to is the perfect exposure time in seconds at ISO 6400 will equal the perfect exposure time in minutes when we wind back to ISO 100. So let's take a look. We'll do some test shots now. Okay, so it's telling me that roughly half a second at this point is going to equal a correct exposure and you can see the camera's having trouble reading that perfectly that's quite underexposed so we'll crank up here to let's try two seconds that's not too bad and of course the aperture doesn't matter here my camera doesn't read the aperture correctly so i have to set it manually so f 5.6 there is not accurate it's probably around f8 so we've got four seconds here, which will equal four minutes. Um, we're getting close, a little bit more. Let's try six. Just checking that histogram each time. We want that histogram pressed rather close to the right hand side. We want to allow a little bit of room like that. Six minutes, six seconds is looking perfect. Okay, we now know that we have a six minute exposure at ISO 100 so making sure we wind that back to 100 there and I've got my uh, cable release here somewhere I'll fire that off actually I need to move to bulb first bulb and then fire that off and we'll lock that down for six minutes and then come back and take a look and there you go six minute exposure absolutely perfect you couldn't get any better than that with an app or any other technique and the benefit of this technique of course is we don't need to take our filters off so we're not risking breaking or damaging as we know I'm sure everyone that's had filters for more than a couple of years knows that the most dangerous time to be handling filters or the time when you're most likely to drop scratch or damage a filter is when you are taking it on and off the camera so if we can leave those filters on while we make these adjustments and correct for those exposure times, we're much more likely to keep those filters safe and scratch free. Plus, it's an extremely accurate way to assess your exposure time on the run, particularly if you're shooting at sunrise or sunset when the light's changing rapidly and you need to make those assessments really quickly without fumbling around with filters. And that's all there really is to it. A simple method to get the perfect exposure time for all your long exposure photography without having to have the hassle of taking the filters on and off the camera. Thanks once again for watching along. I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.